Today we have with us this 2019 Honda Civic Type R. This is an awesome car, guys. If you haven't checked out the new Type R, I highly recommend that you check out one of these cars because you will definitely be impressed with not just the features that this thing offers, but just the way that it handles, performs, and just the overall quality of the vehicle. Before we start this review video, I'd like to give a big thanks and shout out to Antrim Way Honda here in Greencastle, Pennsylvania for providing the new Honda Civic Type R for me to film. I love what I do, filming cars is what I love, and that's what really counts when push comes to shove. Now, in case you're not familiar with what powers this vehicle, powering the new Type R is Honda's inline four cylinder, two liter with the turbocharger. And that puts out 23.2 PSI boost pressure. And you can definitely feel that boost when you get on the accelerator, merging onto the highway. And I personally just loved the feel of that turbo spooling up and just whoosh, it really just is amazing. It produces 306 horsepower and 295 pound-feet of torque. And keep in mind that this car is a hatchback, obviously, and coming from somebody that drives a 2018 Ford Mustang with the 10-speed automatic, this car feels like it could easily keep up with my Mustang. And it's got four less gears, and it's a manual. However, the handling of it really outdoes my Mustang as far as taking corners when you're getting off exit ramps, merging on the highway. It's very firmly planted to the ground, and I have to say it's just a lot more tight and responsive than my Mustang is. Even when I put my Mustang in the steering feel sport mode and put my shifter down into sport mode, this car still feels a lot more responsive, even though it might not get up to gear quite as fast as my Mustang does because my Mustang has the 10 speed. The two liter four cylinder is a 16 valve dual overhead cam VTEC engine with Earth Dreams technology. Also something I really enjoyed getting to experience was the three drive modes that it has. Those drive modes are comfort, sport, and type R mode. Now in comfort mode, the car is actually pretty comfortable. The suspension is nice, it's not too bumpy, it's very comfortable, and you could easily use this as a family vehicle if you wanted to, while still having that sporty feel. It is direct injection, has a drive-by wire throttle system, a water-cooled oil cooler, something I really liked, especially since it has the manual transmission, is the electric parking brake with automatic brake hold. It does have hill start assist, direct ignition system with an engine immobilizer. The final drive ratio is 4.11, and your first gear ratio is going to be 3.625, second is going to be 2.115, third is going to be 1.529, fourth 1.125, Fifth gear is 0 0.911. Sixth gear is going to be 0 0.735. And then reverse is 3.758. Once again, the final drive ratio coming out at 4.11. The Type R does have a lightweight single mass flywheel. Also, a helical limited slip differential. For the body suspension and chassis, it is going to have an adaptive damper system. Also, dual axis McPherson strut front suspension and a multi link rear suspension. Dual pinion, variable ratio, electric power steering. Nice feedback from that steering when you're taking corners in the vehicle. And the car does have stabilizer bars in the front and rear. The turning diameter of the car is 39.5 cubic feet. The wheelbase of the Type R is 106.3 inches. The overall length of the vehicle is 179.4 inches. The height it's going to come in at 56.5 inches. The width of the vehicle is 73.9 inches. And it's a pretty light car. The curb weight of it is 3,117 pounds. Now, a car like this definitely has to have some unique colors. And the Civic Type R definitely does have that. The color that we're seeing in front of us is Sonic Gray Pearl. Additional colors are Rally Red, Championship White, Crystal Black Pearl, polished metal metallic 
and my personal favorite, the Aegean Blue. I have to say though, the car does look great in this Sonic Gray Pearl. The interior volume of the Civic Type R is very generous considering the sports car that it is. Being a hatchback definitely does help with that. The only interior color available on the Type R is this beautiful combo that you see here. In the back it's going to be a black with red stitching and red seat belts. And up front you're going to have sport seats that are Type R seats. Dual material, suede and cloth red and black interior. Definitely fits the car nicely. The front headroom of the vehicle is going to be 39.3 inches. Your front leg room is going to be 42.3 inches. Your front hip room is going to be 53.7 inches. The total cargo volume of the vehicle is going to be 25.7 cubic feet with the rear seat up. And with that rear seat folded down, it comes in at 46.2 cubic feet. Overall passenger volume of the vehicle comes in at 97 cubic feet. The seating capacity of the vehicle is four passengers. In the back seat, you do have cup holders in the center built into the seats. The gas mileage of the Type R is going to be 22 city, 28 highway, with a combined average of 25. Your fuel tank capacity comes in at 12.4 gallons, and the required fuel is regular unleaded. However, premium fuel is recommended for maximum performance. For active safety, the vehicle has VSA, Vehicle Stability Assist, with traction control, four-wheel ABS anti-lock braking system, electronic brake distribution, known as EBD, brake assist. It does have a multi-angle rear view camera with dynamic guidelines, TPMS, tire pressure monitoring system, LED daytime running lights. For passive safety, you have ACE body structure, advanced compatibility engineering, Advanced front airbags, smart vent front side airbags, side curtain airbags with the rollover sensor, three point seat belts at all seating positions, and the front seat belts come with an automatic tensioning system. Of course, in the front, we have our red Honda badges, also seen in the rear of the vehicle, and also your Type R badges are found in the front and rear. The hood of the vehicle is aluminum. It does have an integrated rear window antenna, and of course it does have a security system with remote entry and hatch release, one touch turn signal indicators, body color door handles, push to release fuel door. A really cool feature that the Type R has is smart entry with walk away auto lock. A lot of vehicles have smart entry, as you can see right there. However, most vehicles don't have walk away auto lock. What that is, is I have the key fob in my pocket. I'm gonna shut the door as I walk away, the vehicle locks the doors on its own. That is a nice safety feature. You don't have to worry about checking to see if you locked your car after you get inside. I know I myself sometimes double and triple check even after I go inside my house to make sure that my car is locked. This is a great safety feature to keep the vehicle locked and keep anything inside from getting taken. It does have body colored power side mirrors variable intermittent windshield wipers, a fin type roof mounted antenna, also roof mounted body color vortex generators. And of course, you can't miss it on the Type R, it's wing spoiler, very nice. In the rear of the vehicle, you do have the center mounted triple outlet exhaust. The Type R for extra added effect does have the underbody spoiler kit with the red striping. And up front, we do have LED fog lights and LED headlights with automatic on and off. For comfort and convenience, you do have power windows with automatic up and down, driver and passenger windows, power door locks, also driver and front passenger illuminated window and door lock controls. The vehicle does have cruise control, tilt and telescopic steering column, center console, with sliding armrest and storage compartment, sliding sun visors, door pocket storage bins in the front and in the rear of the vehicle. Your steering wheel is a black and red leather wrapped with stitching. Push button start, so just apply your foot to the clutch and push the push button start. 
and the vehicle will fire right up. This center display system, you are going to find that the vehicle has a 540 watt premium audio system with 12 speakers throughout the vehicle and one subwoofer. This screen right here is a 7 inch display audio with high resolution electrostatic touchscreen and customizable feature settings. Honda satellite linked navigation system with voice recognition and Honda HD digital traffic. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are integrated into this system. Sirius XM radio, HD radio, the vehicle does have a one amp USB audio interface and also a one and a half amp USB smartphone and audio interface. It does have hands-free Bluetooth calling to make phone calls right through the vehicle and also Bluetooth audio streaming to play your favorite songs through the vehicle via your phone. Also on this screen is SMS text message function which means you can view text messages right on this screen and the vehicle will read them to you. It does have RDS radio data system that means that if you miss your favorite song or you come in at the end on Sirius XM you can rewind that to catch the beginning of that song that you just have to hear. Another nice feature is speed sensitive volume control, SVC. Sitting in the driver's seat of the Type R, I'm very comfortable. These seats are nice and comfortable and they hug my body nicely so I have a comfortable and sports feel at the same time. Rev limiter set at 3500 RPMs. Nice spool from that turbo. On the left side of the wheel, you have your traction control. Down low, you have your hood release. On the left side of the steering wheel, you have your exterior lighting controls, automatic daytime running lamps, as we mentioned. And there are lots of things that you can control with this instrument cluster in the center. You are able to change the channel and stereo mode from FM, AM, and Sirius XM. By pushing this information button on the left side of the wheel, you are able to customize this gauge cluster. The vehicle does have a G-Force gauge, a stopwatch to time your acceleration, average fuel economy, currently averaging 22.8 miles to the gallon, and also your distance to empty meter, compass, oil life, your audio, your phone if a phone is connected. Also you can change your gauges to kilometers versus miles per hour. On the left side you'll notice the boost gauge. On the left side of the gauge cluster is your engine temp gauge and over on the right is your gas gauge. Now this screen as we mentioned is touch screen and it doesn't lag at all, it's very responsive. Your home button is going to take you to your home screen where you can access your navigation. Also phone, when a phone is paired or that will allow you to connect a phone if you want to. Vehicle settings, smartphone connection app list, Honda link, information, and also your audio screen is going to take you back to your radio. Very nice audio system with the subwoofer and also those 12 speakers. Nice and crisp and clear audio sound and you can really feel that bass. On your door panel you are going to have suede insert with a carbon fiber type material. Stitching on the suede and a red outline below the carbon fiber. Getting in and out of the vehicle in the rear is very easy being that it is a hatchback. And once you get inside it's very spacious back here. Rear headroom comes in at 37.4 inches. Rear legroom comes in at 35.9 inches. Rear shoulder room comes in at 55 inches. Rear hip room is 48.8 inches. Notice your built-in cup holders here in the center and also storage area. Folding the seats down to achieve maximum cargo capacity is very easy just by pulling those levers. Hatch release and you can reach those levers right from the back of the vehicle so you don't have to open them from the side doors. Lots of cargo space in this vehicle being that it is a hatch you have a very generous entryway you have your Type R hatch area cargo liner
Up front, the vehicle does have four piston aluminum brake calipers, Brembo, ventilated front rotors, cross drilled, and in the back you have solid rear rotors. These wheels are going to be 20 by 8.5 tires. It's currently riding on Continental tires. The exact tire size is 245-30ZR20XL. Notice the nice red line around your 20 inch wheel. This is my first time driving a Type R, like I said, and sitting in it, these seats, the sport seats Type R, uh, seats here, the red suede and cloth, they're very comfortable, but they hug my body nicely. I feel like I'm in a more sporty vehicle just being in this compared to my Mustang. And sitting here in this seating position, everything seems to be laid out nicely and easily accessible, all the audio controls and climate. Oh, wow. I'm in fourth right now. That got up to speed nicely. And the boost, the boost that you can hear from the car, 23.2 PSI, that's stock, uh, the maximum boost pressure with this turbocharger, and that is just insane. Oh, wow. That boost sound is just addicting. hear that turbo spool that is insane awesome and I'm in fifth gear right now thing scoots man I'm in sixth gear now and I gotta tell you that thing got up to speed it felt like it was easier than my 10 speed did maybe it's just I'm having more fun doing it in this than in the 10 speed let's hit this corner oh wow I got going about 52 around that corner there that's just insane that was effortless my Mustang has more body roll than this car before we shut the hood down notice your front stabilizer bar Clisco made in Japan with blue mounts on each side. <laughs> After genuinely getting to experience the way that this car performs, I have to say, I'm a big fan of it. This car is the first Type R that I have ever driven, and I'm very impressed. I definitely had a blast reviewing this vehicle, and I do hope that you all enjoyed watching it. For more car reviews just like this one, turn on notifications before you go, and also subscribe today if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. Before you head out, be sure to comment and tell me your thoughts on this video and on the 2019 Honda Civic Type R.